sister's fur Come on down and make some art Hello there, my name is Tim Soper and welcome to my art studio. Today I'd like to share with you a project inspired by Pablo Picasso. Pablo Picasso was one of the greatest artists of this time and a master of many different art styles. But when Picasso was growing up, the goal of the artist was to paint and draw realistically. And at a young age, Picasso was able to master that technique fairly easily, so they say. And as he grew older, he started to experiment with the idea of what art could really look like. And one of the things that really inspired Picasso was children's art. He liked the freeness and abstractness of children's art. And the artwork that I'd like to share with you today is called Portrait of Maya with a Bow. And Maya was one of Picasso's daughters. And he did many different versions of Maya, a few with a boat or with a doll or different toys, but a lot when she was at a young age. One that we'd li I'd like to share with you today is one of the more abstract versions of Maya. But it's still a fantastic portrait. Let's take a look at it. When looking at this work of art, what really first sticks out to me is all the bright colors, lines, and geometric shapes. Geometric shapes are just shapes with names. So triangles, squares, rectangles are all examples of geometric shapes. Looking at her face, you can see that her sh face is made up of actually four triangles. You have three primary color triangles plus the white triangle, which put all together make one large pentagon. Looking at the sails of the boat and the boat's base, you can see some more triangles. Also, she's sitting on a blue triangle, and in the bottom of the right-hand corner of the picture, there's actually a yellow triangle. The background is filled with rectangles. There's a large black and white rectangle, and then the floor actually has a grid pattern of squares. Also looking at this, there are a ton of different types of lines. There are thick lines, thin lines, curly lines, dotted lines. The idea of shapes, colors, and lines are what we are going to use when we make our own Picasso abstract portrait. Are you ready? Alright, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the geometric shapes to make all the features of the face, meaning the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and you can have more than one of any of these because remember you're making an abstract portrait so it's not necessarily going to be completely real. After you make all your features, I'd move them around until you decide on a good formation and then glue them down to the paper. Once they're all glued, you're then going to do the outline of the face boy girl does not matter full body or just a head it's up to you and then after that you're going to then start using lines and shapes to form patterns inside the face we want to really fill this face with lots of different types of patterns think of all the different types of patterns you can think of there's shape patterns there's line patterns color patterns you can also think of different types of lines we have thick lines dotted lines lines that are made up of shapes and the more variety that you get, the more interesting your picture will be. So as you can see, I'm really filling the whole face, hair, neck, body with different types of lines. I'll then go back and now start to fill them all in. You really don't want to have much white space shown. You want this to be filled with color. Picasso used a ton of different colors. Now you can go with a theme of colors. I've seen some that are done just with warm colors for the face and then cool colors for the background. This one is really just a mix of everything. Get as wild as you want. You really can't make mistakes with this when you just fill it with color and patterns. 